Frags on blast, they don't last. Funk is sent to water in a bottle, but you can buy whatever you like, you like. Oh, you can buy whatever you like, you like. Oh, these companies need to learn that you can't get away with just releasing something because it smells real good. If you don't last, I'm gonna put you on blast. If you don't laugh, I'm gonna put you on frags on blast. <laughs> Welcome back, Fragrance Family. It's your friendly neighborhood humble collector coming back at you in almost 3D. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> what am I talking about today? No. Today's Frags on Blast. I'm talking about Kenneth Cole, Mankind. Now, I really... Uh, when I was in uh, when I was in Perfume Mania, I heard good things about this one, and I had and I heard bad things about this one. So I really didn't want to make a commitment to this one. So I got a travel animizer of it, and I'm so glad I did. I am so glad I did. Um, this one really disappointed me, man. Released in 2013, it's a woody, aromatic, sweet, earthy fragrance. Top notes include cardamom, tarragon leaf, ginger, and pineapple. Mid notes include cedar, vetiver, and cinnamon. Bottom notes include sandalwood, oak moss, and tonka bean. <laughs> that tonka bean, man. Something about it. <laughs> I'd have to say that the last six or seven uh, purchases that I've had has have had ha they've all had at least a uh, tonka bean or coffee in them. So <laughs> okay, so I got a travel atomizer of this, and I'm so glad I did. Uh, 45 minutes of projection on this, and then uh, two hours of longevity. That just, that just doesn't, that just, it just doesn't work with me, man. I mean, God, you know, I've had luck with this house before. I had black uh, Kenneth Cole Black, which was really good. I had Kenneth Cole Reaction, that was also really good. Kenneth Cole Black was uh, my clubbing scent, was my clubbing fragrance when it first came out, man. But, gosh, this is like so boring, you know? It's like a, it's, it's like a mediocre ver version of Legend, of Mont Blanc's Legend. You know, and that pineapple uh, sticks around, and it's okay. But uh, man, I would I would get uh, Mont Blanc's Legend uh, way is a way better fragrance than this one right here. Uh, I'm really glad I didn't. I I I was hoping to find a sample of this, but I couldn't because I re I really I I. I heard mixed re I heard mixed reviews about it. I'm glad I didn't get a whole bottle uh because that would have been wasting money, you know, and I'm not all about wasting money, man. I don't know how these companies get away with this, man. Uh I had this whole I had this whole uh travel animizer uh filled up, you know, and within 2 days I've already gone through Almost the whole thing. That's how many times I had to spray myself. I remember spraying myself like 20 times last night and it really within the whole night and it really didn't make a difference man Now when you have to spray yourself down 20 times and it still doesn't make a difference I'm sorry That's a candidate for frags on blast <laughs> So, Mankind by Mankind by Kenneth Cole. Consider yourself officially on blast.
if uh, I I have a sample of Mankind Hero, and I I'm even scared to take that out because it just might not perform. So yeah, okay, okay. So that's it. This is Mankind Kenneth Cole. What do I rate it? I give it. Man, dude, I give this a one. You know, I really wanted to give this a negative one, but no. Uh, it 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 smells okay. You know, I I wouldn't buy it. Not bottle worthy at all. So this is Mankind by Kenneth Cole. I am the humble collector. Uh, if you see fit to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, I would totally appreciate that. Okay, I will see you. I will see you later on my next video. Okay, that's the truth, and I'm sticking to it.